Today is Friday, August the 9th, 2019, and this is episode 3089. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, A Better Way. Stay tuned. One of the things that I'm always looking for when I do my Uber and Lyft driving, and for those of you that didn't know, I do that on the side and enjoy it, having amazing conversations. I'm always looking for a better way to get to a passenger or to get them uh, to their destination because the shortest route is the cheapest ride, and that's what I want for my customers. A better way. Whenever I'm traveling, uh, going on vacation, maybe doing a business trip, uh, when, when I do a, a search on Google Maps, it may present me uh, three different opportunities. And uh, there'll be different lengths and uh, taking me through different areas. And I try, try to use those tools to choose the best way possible. I want to share with you a truth that is powerful But to be honest with you, it's really challenging for me. I don't have any trouble believing it to be the truth. My challenge is in practicing it. Let me see if you can resonate with this. This has come from the Sermon on the Mount, uh, Matthew chapter 5, beginning in verse 43. Listen to what it says. You have heard that it was said... You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you. Are you struggling with this yet? (laughs) And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you that you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his Son rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. And if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same and if you greet your brothers only what do you do more than others do not even the tax collectors do so now think about it verse 43 you have heard it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy who says that who says that well somebody was saying that that's what the scripture says Maybe sometimes we may not say that out loud, but our actions and demeanor say it. It betrays the way we act. You may not be saying it with your mouth or with your words, but you may be saying it with your actions. In this day and age in which we live, it is really easy. It's a terrible struggle to have the right attitude towards people you disagree with. But scripture makes it very clear. Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. Pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. And I'll be honest with you, sometimes you, I think, Lord, that's not what they deserve. And then I remember that God hasn't given me what I deserve. I love what the Apostle Paul said on this matter in the book of Romans chapter 12 when he said, Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will repay. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, Give him a drink, for in so doing 
you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Is there evil in our world today? For sure there is. What is our response? How do we deal with that? I think the scripture is clear. Amen? Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. Pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. And then I'll add this word for myself. And leave the rest up to God. Father, this is your word. This is your truth. Help us, Father, to live by it today. That it would be real in our lives. And help us to trust you with the outcome. This is hard, Lord. Help us, strengthen us by your Spirit to walk in obedience to your truth and your promise. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Have a great weekend. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.